Breaking details on those three missing Afghan soldiers. As we mentioned, they were last seen at a mall on Cape Cod. Authorities now tracking them down as more on that chilling new ISIS threat comes out. ABC's Brian Ross is here with the latest. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, George. The three Afghan soldiers failed to show up Saturday night at the Cape Cod base where they had been training and were last seen in a mall in Hyannis, Massachusetts. In other times, this would be of little concern. But given the heightened threat climate from ISIS, the search is on to find them. But this morning, the far more serious threat is the new message from that brutal terror group in Syria. In a flood of propaganda videos and messages overnight and over the weekend, ISIS put on display the training camps. The U.S. authorities say thousands of foreign fighters have been turned into ruthless killers. The great concern is what these jihadists would do if or when they return to their home countries. In a message posted online by an ISIS spokesman, the most dire threat yet against the U.S. and its allies. Quote, if you can kill a disbelieving American or European, especially the spiteful and filthy French, or an Australian, or a Canadian, or any other disbeliever, then rely upon Allah and kill him in any manner or way, however it may be. This latest threat comes as ISIS posts new pictures of some of its British recruits. And President Obama heads to the UN to seek an international effort to stop such ISIS fighters from traveling unimpeded to spread their war on terror. But the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations told George on this week, stopping the threat from ISIS and its fighters won't happen anytime soon. We think, again, the strategy can succeed. And most importantly, that we have the greatest military in the world. They believe that. How long will this take? I think the president has said it will be over several years. While much of what ISIS does is sheer propaganda, U.S. authorities say the threat from them is very real. And these latest videos only underscore the importance and the urgency of President Obama's mission this week at the U.N. George. Trying to build that coalition. Let's go back to these Afghan soldiers. You know, we're concerned because of everything going on right now, but authorities believe there's probably just guys looking for a better life. Right. Not really considered a public threat. May, the joys of Hyannis may have attracted them, but there's still the search is on to find them and find out the real answer to what's going on. Okay, Brian Ross, thanks very much.